Comparisons. For more information, look in your textbook on page 229 at chart 91, page 233 at chart 92, and page 235 at chart 93. First, let's begin with as as comparisons. For the following sentences that I'm going to read, I'll be talking about Gina, a young woman, and Todd, an older man. Here are Gina and Todd. When you use as as comparisons, you're comparing two things and you're saying that those two things are the same. For instance, Gina is as smart as Todd. So Gina is smart and Todd is smart. He doesn't have any more intelligence than her or any less. She doesn't have any more intelligence than him or any less. It is exactly the same. They are both smart. You could also say, Gina drives just as carefully as Todd. Notice the addition of the word just. We can simply use as for comparisons, or we can add just. The meaning is exactly the same. In both cases, we're indicating that two things are being compared, and those two things are the same. So Gina drives carefully, and Todd drives carefully. It's exactly the same. Notice here the part of speech that goes in between the two as words. In the first sentence, as smart as, we have an adjective. In the second sentence, as carefully as, we have an adverb. So in between as and as, you put an adjective or an adverb. You can also make these sentences negative. All you have to do to make it negative is use not, not as, and as. And this means that one thing is less than the other. So we could say Gina is not as tall as Todd. And that means that Todd is taller than Gina. We could also use not nearly as and not quite as. These are very common expressions in English. Not nearly as indicates a big difference, whereas not quite as indicates a small difference. Gina is not nearly as old as Todd. If we look at these pictures, we can see that there's a big age difference between Gina and Todd. This is a very big difference, so we say not nearly as. On the other hand, if we look at their hair, her hair is short and his hair is short. Her hair is a little bit longer than his, but it's not significantly longer. So we say Todd's hair is not quite as long as Gina's hair. Small difference. Now we're going to talk about comparatives and superlatives. For the following sentences that I'll be reading, we'll be talking about three brothers, Marcus, Zach, and Ben. Comparatives are used when you're comparing two things or two groups of things. You must use ER at the end of the word, or you put more in front of the word. If you're not sure whether to use ER or more, you should look at chart 9-3 in your book. It gives you a good idea of what to do. And you must also use the word than. Let's look at some examples. Marcus is taller than Zach. You see the difference between Marcus and Zach? Notice that we take the adjective tall and we add ER to the end of it. And then we use the word than. Marcus is taller than Zach. We could also say Zach is more popular than Todd. We take the adjective popular and we add the word more in front of it. And then we put than at the end. Now how do you decide ER or more popular? Like I said, you should look at chart 9-3. But a good general rule in English is that short words use ER. Long words use EST. This is not true 100% of the time. There are sometimes short words that use more. There are sometimes long words that use ER. There are some words where it doesn't matter. You can use ER or you can use more and it doesn't matter. That's why you really should look at the chart to study this. But in general, if you don't remember, 
the best thing, the best rule to follow is short words, ER, long words, more. Superlatives. A superlative is when you're comparing three things or groups of things. You use EST instead of ER and most instead of more. Again, chart 9.3 will tell you which one to use. If you use ER with the word, you would also use EST with the word. If you use more with the word, then you would also use most with the word. You must also use the article the in front of your superlative always. Let's look at some examples. Ben is the shortest brother. Notice that I take the adjective short and I add EST and I put the article the in front of it, the shortest brother. No than here, the shortest. We could also say Marcus is the most fascinating person in his family. Fascinating is our adjective. We put most in front of it and then we use the article the in front of most. The most fascinating person in his family. Again, no than when we're using superlatives. There are a few adjectives that are special cases. To make them comparative and superlative, you have to completely change the form of the adjective or the adverb. For instance, good. Good is an adjective. Well is an adverb. They mean the same thing. In both cases, for good and well, in the comparative form we use better, and in the superlative form we use best. With the adjective bad, or with the adverb badly, we use worse in the comparative form and worst in the superlative form. And for the adjective far, far is an interesting case, so let me talk a little bit about far right now. In the comparative form, you can use farther or further. The meaning is generally the same. In the superlative form, you use farthest and furthest. The meaning is the same. There's a little bit of a special case with farther and further. Like I said, usually farther and further have the same meaning. For instance, Zach ran farther than Ben. Or you could say, Zach ran further than Ben. It doesn't matter. They're both correct. Farther and further are both correct when you're talking about distance. If you're talking about a physical distance that you could measure, then you can use farther or further. It doesn't matter. But further also has another meaning. A special meaning that only further has and you cannot use with farther. Further also has this meaning of extra or additional or more. For instance, Ben needs further information about the test. In this case, further has nothing to do with distance. Further means more, Further means extra information, additional information. In that case, you can only use further. You could not say Ben needs farther information about the test. That is an incorrect sentence. This does not happen with farthest and furthest. You will not see this in the superlative form. It is only with farther and further. For practice, turn in your book and do exercise 2 on page 230 and exercise 11 on page 236.